Today I'm making tater tot casserole. This ground beef casserole is one I remember my mom making often when I was young. It has ground beef, cheese, golden mushroom soup, and tater tots baked on top. It's super easy to make, so it makes a quick weeknight meal. Let's make it. The first step is browning ground beef and some onion together in a skillet. So I'm gonna go ahead and dice about a fourth of a cup of onion. So heat a skillet over medium heat and then add the ground beef and then the diced onion. Cook and crumble that together. After the beef is completely browned, then you'll go ahead and drain off the fat. Then you're gonna add one can of golden mushroom soup. You can really add any type of cream soup that you'd like, but traditionally golden mushroom soup is what my mom used, so that's what I'm adding today. One pound of ground beef is good for an eight by eight or a nine by nine baking pan. You can always double the recipe if you'd like. Spray the pan and then add the ground beef mixture. Spread it out in the pan. The next step is adding some shredded cheddar cheese. You can buy cheddar cheese in a bag, but I highly recommend grating your own cheddar cheese. So just buy a block of cheese and I have this handy cheese grater so that I don't hurt my fingers trying to use another type of grater. So then sprinkle about one cup of cheese over top of the ground beef. And then you'll save the other half of a cup to sprinkle on top of the casserole. The next layer is the tater tots. You'll take frozen tater tots, they do not have to be thawed, and you'll just line them up all over the top of the casserole. Then sprinkle additional cheddar cheese on top, just about half of a cup. Then it's time to bake. This will take about 35 to 40 minutes in a 350 degree Fahrenheit oven. It really just depends on the type of pan you have, how big it is, how deep the dish is, but plan for about 35 to 40 minutes to heat it through. You can serve this easy casserole with a side salad or with your favorite vegetable and your family will love it. Thanks for watching today. You can print this complete recipe on tastelovelzt.com.